Okay guys, so we've got all our ingredients out. We're gonna be making some chicken cutlets and um, they're chicken breasts. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna season them and then we're gonna pan fry them and then let them cook in um, their own um, juice or gravy for a while until they're cooked all the, all the way through. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, we've got our pan heated up, so it's um, nice and ready to go. So we're gonna season up these um, chicken breasts real quick. We're gonna add some oregano. Okay, not too much, maybe about, that was about a third of a teaspoon. And of course, I like my rotisserie um, seasoning, some oregano. Some adobo, okay, some black pepper, and a little bit of sasson. Okay, very simple ingredients. That's all that we need. And the sasson is just to give it a little bit of color. Okay, and we're gonna stir this a little. Get everything mixed up in there. And, oh, and I almost forgot. We have some garlic that we mashed inside of some um, parchment paper. Okay, so a little bit of that garlic is going to go in there. Okay, that's about a clove and a half of garlic that I put in there. Okay, guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please hit the subscription button, just a friendly reminder, because I know when I watch videos, sometimes I forget. I watch things that I like on YouTube, and I get so focused, and I leave, and then I forget, oh, I didn't subscribe. But it's, an, it's nice when you get a friendly reminder that says, you know what, please subscribe. You know, it helps with the algorithm. It helps to get your videos discovered in um, YouTube. You know, it helps people find your videos. So please like, share it also. You know, if you know anyone that might like a chicken recipe, you know, they might like this one. Okay, then we're gonna add a little bit more of oregano. Okay, a little bit more of sasson, because we turned the pieces of breast over, so we're trying to get everything coated evenly now if you have any other seasonings that you like to use you know of course you can go ahead and use them you know you have basil whatever you have you have rosemary you have um, parsley whatever you like to add to your chicken it's you know you're cooking it to your taste Okay, so now we're going to add our oil and just enough oil to cover the bottom of the pan. Okay. Okay, so again, we're going to stir this. And as soon as our pan is nice and hot, what we're going to do is we're going to pan sear these first. We're going to sear these on both sides, each piece of chicken. Then after we're done, we're going to add a little bit of liquid. We're going to let them cook in that liquid and stew in that liquid for a few minutes to let them cook through. Okay, it could be 30 minutes. You know, it could be 40 minutes. Um, if during that time, if you feel you want to add chopped onions, green peppers, red bell peppers, whatever it is that you like, you can add that in also. Okay, and it's really going to turn out to be more of a stew chicken because it's going to be some liquid in there. Um, it'll be chicken stew, like a stewed chicken breast. You know, it's just that I like to pan fry, pan fry the um, meat sometimes. And um, 
then I like to add the liquid and just let it continue to cook. Okay, so I don't know if this heat is hot enough, so we're going to try it now. Nope, not yet. Let's give it two or three more minutes and then we'll put our chicken in. Okay guys, our oil is finally hot enough. As you can see, there's already a piece in there. Okay. So now we're gonna add our chicken. Okay, so we're going to let that fry and we'll be back. Okay, so we're going to turn the chicken over so it can cook on the other side also. I'm just going to lower this a little, let it go a little too high. Okay, so we're going to remove um, some of this oil because um, our chicken is done for now. So what we're going to do is remove some of this oil, or well, actually as much as we can. Then what I did was I added a little bit of tomato sauce. With a little bit of water. Just cold water. And some of the um, garlic seasoning that was left over when we marinated the chicken quick, when we um, seasoned the chicken quickly. Okay, and we're going to pour that in here. And we're just going to let the um, chicken cook in here. And I know that some pieces are thicker than others, but we're going to let it cook long enough. Okay, if, you, if, you, if your pieces are somewhat thicker than others, you can slice them in half if you like. I'm going to leave mine the way they are. I'm going to put up the heat. Okay, I'm going to let that come to a boil. cover that and let it finish cook for about we'll check it in half an hour if it's on this to see if it's done to our liking if not we'll cook it a little bit longer okay i'm going to just lower that down a little some of the garlic seasoning in here still. Okay. All right, I have to find the lid. To this pan, I'm not sure if this is the lid. I 
think I can use this one. Yep, I can. Okay, just gonna make sure that doesn't overboil. So we're gonna lower it, lower it enough so it can still simmer and cook in there, but not overboil, okay? Okay, we're gonna check on our chicken. Our chicken should be done. It's been half an hour at least. Okay, so I'm gonna take a piece. Oh, it's falling apart. Okay, I'm gonna cut that. I should have cut it the other way, but it's fine. Okay, we're gonna taste that. It smells really good. Okay. And of course, I'm gonna have it with some arroz with gandules. As you can see here, I made this earlier. Mmm. Oh, this is very good. Very, very good. The chicken is nice and tender. And it's flavorful. I taste it with the rice now. Very good. You can taste the garlic, the oregano, and all those seasonings that I put in here. This is very simple, very easy to make, fast, done in half an hour. All you have to do is season the chicken and let it cook for a while. And you got a nice, fast, easy meal. Guys, thanks for stopping by. See you later.